Hi there, I'm Steve Stein, and by request I'm doing Wide Awake by Katy Perry. Go doing an easy version of this. Um, if you look below this video in the description area, you're going to see that you can click on a link and request videos that you'd like me to teach you how to play. So please do so. Just click on there anytime and uh, let me know some songs that you'd like to do. This particular song, Wide Awake, uses E minor, G, D, and A with a capo at the third fret. Now for a lot of these songs, it's imperative that you have a capo. So what I want you to do is take a close look at where I've got this. Okay, it's kind of close to the fret there. Okay, you just clamp it on. And what happens is then this is considered the beginning of the guitar. We don't worry about these other frets. So we're going to call this right here first fret. We're going to call this second fret and so on. And we're just going to play chords like we always do. We're just playing it higher up the guitar. So to play Katy Perry's Wide Awake, we're playing E, G, over and over and over. So we've got E minor, that's what I'm referring to when I say E is E minor. So you're not using the first finger. Okay, what we're doing is placing the middle finger on the second fret. Again, second fret relative to the capo. Fifth string. And then I'm putting my third finger on the second fret of the fourth string. There's E minor. And then I'm going to G. And you might play G like this. I've got my third finger on the first string here. I take my middle finger all the way to the top. Sixth string and I put my first finger on the fifth fret of this, uh, excuse me, the fifth string of the second fret. Okay, if you play your G with four fingers, that's perfectly fine. And then we're going to D right here. D makes a little triangle down on the bottom. I've got first finger on the third string, second fret. I've got middle finger on the first string, second fret. So this is on third string, this is on first string. And then I put my middle finger, or excuse me, my ring finger on the second string, third fret, so it's making a triangle right there. There's your D chord. And on D, you can strum the bottom four strings. On E minor, you can strum all six. On G, you can strum all six. But D, you want to just focus on the bottom four. And then we've got the A chord, which is three in a row. So I'm going to put my first finger on the fourth string, second fret. I'm going to put my middle finger right underneath that on the third string. And my third finger right underneath that on the second string. So they're all in the second fret right here. And that one, I can strum the bottom five. So I have E, Now the big thing with all these videos, and when you're trying to learn how to do something, and you'll hear me talk about it a lot in these videos, is being able to move your chords in time. You have to be able to switch your chords fast enough to play the song. So that's what practice is all about, okay? Daily practice is just practicing those chords over and over again, trying to develop your fingers to the point that they just automatically move from point A to point B, whatever those points are. Then the next thing is the strumming mechanism, being able to strum to a song. Now, if you're new at this and you've never really played before, you don't have to do all the strumming. You could just, for instance, just strum once per chord. Just that. Just so you can get in there and have some fun playing some music. But in order to play any song, I have to be able to move from point A to point B. And again, that's what the practice is all about. So that is Wide Awake. Pretty, pretty straightforward, huh? So E minor, G, D, a. And I have some other easy versions of songs. If you're learning how to play some stuff, just look through the um, song channel here and find some other ones that use the same chords, maybe the capo in a different spot, things like that. But please remember to click on the link below and add your name and some requests, okay? So I can send some things. I can, I can try and create a video for you and teach you how to play some songs that you like.